Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this uh, to this update on Solana and the Solcoin. Quite a lot of things we need to talk about. I'll, uh, I'll briefly talk about the fundamentals around Solana and uh, and some of the things we might be able to expect in the upcoming uh, weeks, upcoming period of time at least. And uh, and we'll also talk look at, talk and take a look at the technicals, which uh, are very important right now, I think, because um, as most of you know. Last 24 hours, we had quite a lot of bearish momentum in the markets. For Solana, that meant uh, that we pushed down to the to the lowest level we've seen in the last two and a half weeks. Um, very strong support level, but it's also if that support level breaks, there might be some bad news on the way. Um, so we need to we need to talk about that. So let's get right into it. It's been a while since I covered Solana, I believe. I, I use to cover it every day, but it's. Um, let me know if you if, if you would like to see that. I, I don't think there's uh, too much interest in Solana updates every day, especially since the mar since the price has been boring like this. I mean, if it moves like this, sure, I'll, I'll do it every day. But apart from that, I won't. Um, volume from Solana, it's, it's still great. It's still very high. It's still steady. So there's nothing to worry about in that sense. Um, if we take a look at the total value logs and just some other network statistics, you can see that the daily active addresses are definitely in a decline. Uh, transactions are still great, daily fees as well. Um, total value log though, it's also in a slow decline. Um, and, uh, and and if you wouldn't go that far, it's it's just very still ever since basically the, the middle of January that we lost our, uh, that we lost our, our groove uh, with Solana. But that doesn't matter that much. I mean, just together with all the network statistics, Solana has been consolidating with some more moves to the upside, then moves to the downside. So that could be considered as uh, as bullish. The thing, though, right now is that, all right, sure, we still are technically in this consolidation between $25 and $22. And just for, for, for reference, I think this is institutional selling. Uh, what we have seen in the last uh, in, in the last 24 hours, that could be bad because that means that we could have more institutional selling and that we could drop down to our next support level around twenty dollars. It could also be considered as good because there's no macroeconomic uh, thing driving this bearish momentum. And um, so, sure, what you can see right now is that within the consolidation there's some bearish momentum for Solana. Um, but I do expect us to actually be able to hold our support level at twenty-two dollars. Um, Right now, the main challenge, though, uh, is breaking back above $23, because that's our main resistance right now. I think we'll be able to do that, get up to 24, find some resistance, and get into get back into this consolidation between $25 and $22, which is good and bad news. It's, it's good news that we have at least held our support level. It's bad news that it's a little bit boring. Um, but I do think if we're at least able to break above that $23 again and therefore stay in a consolidation, I do think that next week we have a good chance with the inflation rates coming uh, Tuesday, I believe. I think we have a good chance at breaking about $25 again and, and dreaming of uh, $28.5 and $30. Uh, but I'll keep you updated on that in, in new videos. For now, it's, it's really important that we break above $23 because even though I expect it, it's definitely not uh, not guaranteed, all right? so. Um, what could also happen, what you need to watch out for, um, is that we do not break above $23. Sure, we might find some resistance there, like we're doing right now, um, but the moment we break down below $22, we're in some more trouble, because then we'll drop down to this level here at $20, which I do think will hold, but then all of a sudden you have quite a downtrend going on, and it's going to be tougher and tougher to actually hold uh, the support levels, especially once you get that 20 under, uh, 200 EMA, as a resistance again. Um, so yeah, I expect us to hold $22 and to break above $23. But remember, if the moment we break up below $22 on the four hour time frame, then I was wrong. And you can expect some more downside. All right. So that's my take on Solana for today. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.